Uh, our vat is heated up to 49 degrees Celsius. It goes up and down, but that's good enough. Timer set for five minutes. We're gonna bring it up here, and this is our, um, our, our finished product. This is a bag that I put over the top, and it's just a regular paper shopping bag because it covers the vat because we are in my garage. And the garage door goes up, sunlight comes in, the bag stops it. So I don't think you have to buy a really fancy cover. This is just a simple shopping bag that holds it just fine. Let's set this camera up. All right, let's get the magic going. So my storage space here. First up, before we start, real simple. These are the nitro gloves that I have. Um, I had mentioned these before. I think they're, I think they're very good. Uh, they're like three or four bucks a, a pair, and maybe if you can find them at the dollar store, maybe cheaper, but eh, I think for four bucks, they're reusable. We've got this nice description. Let's do this. Let's do my, let's do my steps here of um, cleaning 3D resin printed minis. All right. Uh, and we're using Soraya Tech Fast Gray with uh, 150 milliliters or 15% of um, added uh, uh, Soraya Tech Tenacious, so it's more flexible. So, First thing we do is take the top off of here without touching the edges, bring it straight up, flip it up, get it out of the way. We're not gonna need this right now. This is our beautiful six orcs we have hanging out right here. Um, first thing I like to do, I've let, let them hang for about an hour so they've dripped about as much as they're gonna drip. Um, and I got my tray here with a paper towel and this in here. Let's just do, gently unscrew this. Do. I put them in the tray like this. And then what I like to do usually is um, I will get a paper towel, my paper towel holder. I like to get a few and just have them out and ready to go. Cause there's always weird spills and whatnot. Four or five is good. For the first one, uh, what I like to do, is just gonna hold this in half, pull, pull this up. And I'll just kind of wipe down the edges just so I'm not getting a ton of this dunk on my um, fingers and whatnot. Do, do, do. A little bit easier to work with. Trash can. And we're still, fingers still clean. I'm gonna take this, it's our scraper, scraper side here. I hold this here. Um, you don't wanna hold it, you don't, you don't wanna hold it by this, you wanna hold it by the, by the actual plate. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna leverage this on the, you don't want this to turn. You wanna hold it straight up and away from the edge. I get this and I just come at an angle, about a 45 degree angle, and I just gently push, I like kind of wiggle, like kind of wiggle and like push, not too hard, not too crazy, just enough, just up, like that, right off. Oh, I'm not, I'm really, um, it looks like I'm pushing very hard, I'm not, I'm just giving firm, consistent pressure. And then what I like to do is I'll give it a scrape here. Scrape this off. Honestly, that, that's all I'll do. Um, I will wipe this very well, like that. And I will put that, that's good to go right back on the, on the thing. I will use that, um, clean my fingers off a little bit. This is good to go, this is good to go again. So. I'm gonna turn it off um, right here, but it's ready to do another printing as soon as I'm ready to do another printing. I'm gonna put this on, uh, and that's it. That resin going go in here. I put the paper bag back over. It's good to go. So now, uh, first step, what I like to do is, this is just simple. This is just uh, mean green. It's in a plastic pickle container. I got it on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Uh, you can get f cheaper ones, more expensive ones, fancier ones. But this mean green I've been using for a couple months probably at least 100, 150 minis have been gone through here. It doesn't have to be sparkling clean because this is just the first step. Just step one, all I do, these guys are still on the supports. You can see them, still on the supports. I'm just gonna take them, drop them in here, 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 drop them in here. Um, and also, since while we're here, we have the mean green, a little bit of this, give a little splash. Doo -doo -doo. Clean it off. This thing clean, ready to do, ready to use next time. All right, and then clean up a little splishy splishes. All right, got this. Bunk a bunk. 
Gonna put the lock top on. And then I'm, I'm gonna pick this up and do it over here so it doesn't splash up on here. But I just pull the top and just swirl it for about 30 seconds, so. Not even 30 seconds, like 20 seconds. Like I'm just, you can see I'm just doing this, and then I go this way, and then I go this way. Sometimes, if there's no breakable stuff, I'll shake it a little bit. These are pretty sturdy, they have Soraya Tech Tenacious in there, so they're not gonna break. Um, that's it, I, I mean, that's that's like 20 seconds. You can do 30 seconds, a minute. You don't need to do longer. Then what I'm gonna do, it's all foamy, and do this. Uh, we're gonna take this and go up underneath here. Do, do, do. And we're gonna take our heater that has been heated. It's careful it drips and shake that off. Put this here. Take this guy here. So beautiful little handle. Um, tap tap tap. Drink your drink. Gingerly, whoop. Put that right in there like that. It's fine. Um, put this back on this out of the way and then we'll just set this up and we'll just do this is 50 degrees five minutes I want to set it set all right our five minute rinse is done as you can see five minutes is up we're gonna take this lid off again to here for a second. Now, this is done. We're not, we're not gonna put this back into here because I wanna keep this at 50 degrees. I want this nice and warm to take the supports off. So what we're gonna do instead, is we're gonna get our little blue tray from earlier that I used to take this stuff off of. We're gonna get this. I'm gonna gently shake this out. Here, like that. We're gonna dump this into here. Uh, put, this, put this up top. This is done, so this can go in here, put the lid back on, and then this can be bye-bye, this goes away up top. This can turn this little guy off, uh, and I also unplug it when it's not on. We're done with this, and then we'll come back up here. Do, 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 do. So we can find an angle for this camera. And now, what we have, we have these guys, these supports, um, and we're gonna first fix this up here. Really easy. Um, got my snippers that came with this 3D printer right here, and every 3D printer I've ever owned or used. Um, and look, I mean, look at the supports. I'm just pinching the bases, and already, like, they're coming off. These aren't. These don't have a lot of fine details, like little like things hanging off them and whatnot. Um, and I've made these figures before, so I know. There's one region on this side. There's a little nub on the um, on the sword that I want to be careful with. Besides that, it just these things really. I mean, they're just they're peeling off. Like they're just see that little nub. That's it. The, the little nub still intact. Beautiful. There is, if you can see, there's a little. You can't really see. There's a little piece, a little support from the from the bottom of the chin to the chest. I leave that on. I just, after these things are washed and cured, I just get an exacto blade and bink, I just bink it off. Uh, real, you know, just chisel it out. It takes a, ten, a, a second before I, you know, I base them, before I prime them and paint them. So this guy's gonna go here and wait, and then we'll just do the other five. Same thing. I mean, at 50 degrees Celsius, these things just pull off. If you have a, a mini with more like delicate features and stuff, then yeah, you're gonna want to get the thing and get in there and be real careful. But even with with this, it's they're so easy to take off. It's like you barely you just find what I like to do is slide up and down the support where where it meets it and just give like half pressure and like a little bit twist and it just takes them right off. Even with like more complicated designs. Um, so again, just just beautiful, ah, beautiful. No nubs or anything, right? Same thing, this guy, because they're nice and warm. That's you want to do it while it's nice and warm. You don't want to let this cool down. You want to just get in here, break these guys off. Um, boom, bam. You can go in and clean up a little bit more later now or with the blue things now or with this or sandpaper later if you want to get them perfect. But these things come out. I've, I've printed and painted a bunch of these already and given these to friends. They're awesome. They, they come out great. These are just a great little sculpt um, of these orc. Warrior guys, 
just I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to make errors, but you know, I want to just do do do. So as they cool down, if you do it, if you wait too long, uh, it can get cooler. They can get a little bit trickier to get off. But again, these just are just pulling off like nothing. Like do do do, just wiggle right off. Little sort of thing, still still on there, no problem. Uh, the last one, this guy, shredding it. It's like peeling shrimp. Um, murderous green mohawk little shrimp. Uh, <laughs> this, this guy, again, so that's all six came out, perfect detail, nothing broken off, just just the great all the ground thing. What you can do with these, I'll like take these and put them to the side and put them on a thing and then cure them on their own. And once they're cured, I'll just I'll just throw them away in the regular trash can and worry about it. So at this point, I got my six little dudes here. I didn't even really I didn't even really use my snippers, I put my snippers away. This is where I get my little low Tupperware thing and just a simple a soft tooth, toothbrush it's from the dollar store. Uh, my bottle of 99% uh, IPA, just, you know, you just get it, pour it in, replenish it as you need it. And this is what I do. Um, I'm gonna go, I do this. I keep these guys here, and then one at a time, I bring them over here, and I just real simply give them like two or three squirts, two or three squirts all the way around. Let it soak in for a little, a little baby second, and then um, I just get the toothbrush and just Scrub the final, final, final layer of anything off. Is there any goop? The the stuff in the nooks and crannies can make shinies, is what can make some of the shiny part sometimes. So I will just go in there and scrub them. But honestly, with that five minutes in the in the in the um, in the mean green in the ultrasonic, you don't get too much, you know, too much residue. I'm just, again, on the on the on the big pieces, like on big flat spaces, like like cloaks and shirts and stuff. That those are the places I feel like it can get really shiny in the nooks and crannies too. But I'll give them their own separate squirt, hit them up, good to go, right? And then um, this is just water. It's water I've used a bunch of times. If, I'm, if it's if they're not too intricate, I don't want them in the water forever. But I'll drop them in his room. He's in the water just cooking. Do do do. This guy, same deal. Bom 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 bom. The great, the great thing about this is there's just almost, there's no waste of rubbing alcohol. Like the, the waste pretty much evaporates for the most part. Um, and I'll go and I'll spray and I'll rinse out the, I'll spray, uh, I'll spray rubbing alcohol in the toothbrush uh, each time, usually after I'm done with a batch of these guys and wipe it off in a paper towel, kind of like, like you would cleaning a brush with a um, brush, brush cleaner for an acrylic paint, same kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's very quick. Very easy, and with the ultrasonic, you just you don't you don't need to do much of this because these guys are are scrubbed. I mean, you can see the detail. You know, you can see like the detail on them is just is insane. Um, put them in the water. Boom. Same thing. Sometimes there's extra rubbing alcohol. I got a rub, rubbing alcohol in here. Just get a little bonus. Scoop up, kind of like using. Uh, ah, <laughs> he tried to jump ship. Um, this gentle on the swords, of course, and on the details. But these guys are these are pretty robust figures. That the stuff's pretty hard. It's the swords really the only place to be careful with these guys. Hold on, drop them in. He's good to go. Yeah, this is just coming off real well. This is great. Two more to go. Blasting them kind of more than I even you know probably have to. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Scrub that down. 
nooks and crannies, nooks and sword, arm, sword, sword, nooks and crannies, nooks and crannies, and then there's that. And then this is done. This is, I mean, there's barely any in here. You can, if you want, you know, wipe down the excess, whatever. And like later on, I'll spray this out, wipe it on a piece of paper towel, spray it out, wipe it on a piece of paper towel, and then that's it. But I, I mean, this is done to me. Do, do, do. Barely, I mean, barely any waste of alcohol and this stuff evaporates and it's pretty much done. You can put this out in the sun and cure it if you want, every, you know, every couple of uses uh, as you want. And we're done with our IPA and that's it. Um, this stuff, like I said, I'm gonna cure it, use it and throw it away later. This is just the water mixture. Again, 30 seconds. I'm not even gonna do it that, that long right now, but like this way, this way. If there's no breakable pieces, up and down, it's fine. Circle, circle, up and down, circle, up and down. Just wanna wash off any residual stuff. Uh, and then my spray painted, these are my Tupperwares, and these are the Rubbermaid take-alongs from the dollar store, spray painted gray on the inside with the, um, with the you know, for the, for the blue shop color. Very simple. Do -do -do. Open this guy up. This is kind of foamy, so you want to kind of maybe rinse. Shake a little, a little bit of foam off the foam spine, the foam line, hurry. and then dump them in. That's it. This water is done. Again, I just these this water I've been using for probably two months. I mean, I made a lot of minis. It's a little bit cloudy, but still usable. Um, but later on, I can I can rinse it out, and throw it away, and then these are the guys here. What I like to do is I just get a paper towel, kind of. You're not gonna get all the, um, the I, I, I used to try and do it more to get all the foam off. Just dab them with a paper towel, flip them around in a way where they're not gonna like, stuff's not gonna pool. Like I, I these guys, I would put face down. So like the, the, the water drips off down into the towel. And I try and put them in, you know, I spread them apart in the towel, try and put them in a dryish spot. Not, there's a big wet spot in the towel, I'll even replace the towel sometimes, but you don't have to. Uh, and then, like that, like they're laid out like that kind of. You can see on that's one. And then like I said, I don't I don't put this on like that. I just put it at an angle to block the light and to give it a little vent and then put those up on a shelf and they're good to go. These gloves, I mean the gloves are fine. You can hit them. I just I this thing about the gloves is I was using an IPA earlier, so it kind of the one the final step of cleaning them kind of cleans the gloves off already. Um do this, but you just take the gloves off and then I use the other glove to take the glove off, and these are reusable. You put them, put them away and use them again, and that's it. This is the IP goes away. That's that's my system. Put the tag on, and you're pretty much good to go.